The first time they saw this tiny forest in a suburb near Wellington, the architects loved it. Paradise. <laughs> just gorgeous, yep. isn't it? Yep, yep. <laughs> Why? Oh, all those trees and the light through the trees is just beautiful. Imagine if you could build something that had that sort of light coming through trees. And they did. They built the Macrocarpa and Glass Samurai House for John Jarvis, a school teacher and retired martial arts instructor. Uh, the brief was quite simple. No plastic, no concrete, no paint. Jarvis has lived in Japan where there's a philosophy that you shouldn't be able to tell where the garden ends and the house begins. So the balcony that inside forms the upstairs continues right through the outside wall and juts into the treetops. The kind of things that he asked for were always sort of implied rather than kind of over-prescribed, you know. He's quite interesting sort of character, John. An architect's dream. Yeah. A restriction on the property was that no trees could be removed. Not that the owner wanted to anyway, and the designers raised the floor level to protect the tree roots. He's like an art critic. He's a man that loves nature and loves things, you know, but he's a school teacher, so he deserves something beautiful, you know. Beautiful and budget. It's something Melling and Morse have earned a reputation for. This house was built for around $100,000, a challenge they couldn't resist. No, you just accept the problem, don't we? We just take the problem and accept it and work from that. Yeah. You know, and, and if they had more money, the problem would have been different. Yeah, yeah, but there is <laughs> a bottom line. There is a bottom line whereby all you could do is pitch a tent. <laughs> The idea was to put a simple box among the trees. In architect speak, a non-competitive insertion into the forest. You know, humans can't compete with the beauty of trees. Although it's just quite small, it doesn't appear so. And it's just fun living in. And even though a neighbour keeps asking him when he's going to put the garden in, Jarvis is quite happy with his tree-hugging house-come-garden the way it is. Kim Hurring, 3 News.